All right, we have once again been named Hortator of House Lalu, which means we now have the requisite 50 reputation and upon talking to any important figures, Hey, why haven't we fulfilled the prophecy? I don't know. Why haven't we fulfilled the prophecies? It's not like you guys have been giving me the runaround for the past 10 episodes. Uh, you haven't done something foolish, have I? Uh, it's maybe. Mustn't be shy, dumpling. Archcanon Tholar Suryani, the high priest of the temple, is very upset. He's hoping that you will come speak with him at the High Fane here in Vivek City. Maybe that would be a good idea, don't you? I do like how instead of just having just the generic dialogue about, hey, you've fulfilled the ability to skip stuff because you've been screwing around too much. Crassius gets his own because he has to be able to call you dumpling in like this important dialogue. What? We're over encumbered? How heavy is that belt? It's a pretty good belt. Uh, do we have anything we could eat? Yes, we do. Actually, probably better use with eat. Use a hammer. So we want to probably want to use that yeah, hammer. Yeah. There we go. Need to sell stuff, but that can wait. Hey, Tholer, how's it going? I know we were here like five minutes ago, but we're here again. Thank you for coming. You know the temple's doctrine on the reverie, and perhaps it is time to sh I, I sure hope so, considering we're in charge of the Tribunal Temple at this point. Well, I guess the Tribunal's in charge of the Tribunal Temple, but you know what I mean. The temple must protect people from false doctrines, and your association with Imperial Intelligence makes your motivations and integrity suspect. But we have reached a cri- I don't think that's how you're supposed to stress those syllables, but whatever. We should critical- Crisis with Dagoth Eric can no longer defend the people against the Awakened Six Isles. You and your prophecies may represent our last hope. Our situation is desperate, but I would rather have you hear the details of our situation and circumstances leading to that situation from Lord Vivek himself. He's asked to see you. Do you agree to a private meeting with him and hear in person what he has to say? Sure. Good. You're two keys, one of the back entrance of the quarters, and those two are locked entrance to Lord Vivek's palace. Regret that at present the ordinators are not completely under my control, so for now I'll ask you to avoid confrontations with them. Lord Vevek is expecting you. His lordship is remarkably patient, but perhaps it would be better not to keep him waiting. I sure hope he's patient. He's like thousands of years old. Man, that's not really that strange for elves. I don't know why people worship the tribunal. I, if, if they were humans and then the tribunal were living for thousands of years, then yeah. But they're just really long-lived incredibly powerful elven wizards, essentially, right? They can't change the fabric of reality. I mean, Vivek can barely keep that rock levitating. Alright, we've already, we've already been here. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. Uh, I know we weren't exactly welcome last time, but you maybe want to be a bit more hospitable. Uh, expected you. We have business, you and I. I, I guess that's one way to put it. When I was young, like you, I was very impatient, so I'll keep our business short. Then later, there might be time for other things. First, I proposed to remove my curse upon the reverie and persecution of the dissident priests, and proclaimed to all Morrowind that Shadow is the incarnate in the reverie and the prophesied savior of Morrowind, and the last hope to withstand the menace of Dagother in the Sixth House. These things I will do, whether you wish or not. This is Vivek keeping it short. He's a very he's, he's a warrior poet. He's very long-winded. Next, I propose to surrender to you the power and responsibility of defeating Dagothur. You may choose to refuse. I will not compel you. You will receive the power as a gift in the form of an artifact called Wraithguard. You may accept the gift and do with it as you will. You will receive the responsibility as an oath. You may give your oath and keep or break it as you like. First, will you accept Wraithguard as a gift? Absolutely. Sensible of you. And now, will you give your oath before all gods and men, before all spirits visible and invisible, before my honor and your honor, to de dedicate yourself and Wraithguard to the defeat and destruction of Dagothur, the preservation of Morrowinds and its people? I mean, yeah, considering you told me this oath is meaningless, sure. Not very sensible, but very good. I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitations about making such an oath. You told me I could break it five seconds ago, my dude. You have a brief momentary sensation of time passing. Don't be alarmed. You're being taken out of time in order to avoid the unpleasant experience of learning how to use Wraithguard. It will all be over before... You know it. Now, I shall notify the temple that you are a champion. There will be no more prosecution. 
dissident priests, and I hope both sides just swiftly be reconciled. We have time for questions if you like, or you may leave as you wish, but I think there are at least two things you ought to know. How to use Wraith Garden, how to defeat Dagothair. Well, I know how to use Wraith Garden. How do I defeat Dagothair? To defeat Dagothair, go to Red Mountain to recover the Artifact Hammer Sunder from Gate Citadel Viminal. Then recover the Artifact Blade Keening from Gate Citadel Audrasol. Then proceed with Wraith Guard Sunder and Keening to the Citadel of Dagothair. Within the Citadel, find the Heart of Lorca. Use the three artifacts to sever Dagothair's connection to the Heart, and he will be destroyed and the Blight ended on Morrowind. To destroy Dagothair, you must sever his connection with the Heart of Lorca. To do this, strike the Heart with the Artifact Hammer Sunder once, then strike the Heart more than once with the Artifact Blade Keening. You swear Wraith Guard because you cannot handle either Sunder or Keening unless you are wearing it. That is the short, simple explanation. Here is a long, detailed explanation written down for your convenience. Read it, study it, commit it to memory. Uh, goodbye. So yeah, um, basically the Tribunal Temple has been trying to do this for ages, and because they're all Dark Elves, they suck at it, and they need outside help. We are a contractor. Oh, we should probably put Wraith Guard on. That's just made our weight even worse. Great. Um, hmm. I really need this war axe. Hey, Vivek, you want this dwarven war axe? Uh, here, you give me a gift. I'll give you a gift. There you go. I suppose we should probably make it look nice at least. Pick it up. Just put it right there. Can we rotate it? I can't remember if you can rotate things in this game. You just pick them up and then... Yeah, okay. Uh... That looks good. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna want to drop a lot of stuff if we're gonna be wearing Wraith Guard. And Wraith Guard's good! But it doesn't give us 20 points of strength. So... We do need it for the siege upon Red Mountain, which is coming up very fast, actually. So yeah, uh, there's a lot more we could have done with Vivek in terms of conversation. He's got a lot of information. It's basically one long lord on about the nature of the tribunal, the relationship to the original Nerevar, and the relationship to Degather. Basically, they were all buddies uh, up until it, they found the heart of a god, and then suddenly they weren't buddies because that's what power does to you. We make a special trip just for you. And whose fault it is really isn't important by this point. What, what really matters is the fact that they're all corrupt in their own little ways. But Dagoth is definitely the worst of the, of the bunch. And we got the short end of this draw because we're just immortal with the soul of a dead hero. And after quite a lot of inventory management and a bit of a shopping spree, this is our inventory. We have a decent number of health potions, not as many magicas as I'd like, but for some reason quality restore magic potions were kind of hard to come by and I didn't want to waste money on exclusives since they're kind of overkill. 40 points for 5 seconds, that's what, 200 magicka points? We would never need that. I also got some scrolls, we have plenty of mark and recall if we need to dip out. And this is our new look, including a wakazashi in case we actually need to stab something. I'm uh, not a fan of Wraithguard's look in this game, uh, I'm especially not a fan of how asymmetrical it is with one of the Fists of Rangravolf and the Wraithguard. There's a fake Wraithguard that's left-handed, but the only way to get that is by killing Vivek and taking it to... Uh, What's his name? The, the last living dwarf. Yagram Begram. But yeah, no. This is it. Here we are in Alderun. Possibly for the last time if we don't survive this. It's, it's do or die. You just had to. You just had to. It would be 30 points. Calm creature would be 23. Okay. Just leg it. Okay, so this is a little embarrassing. I accidentally left 
the instructions on how to defeat Dagoth are at home. I think we're supposed to go to Aldrasol and Veminol. Uh, I sure hope so, because I don't know where else we're supposed to be going. Okay, I was gonna dip into this mine for a little safety, and maybe rest a bit, but that next town has other ideas, I guess. You're just gonna keep following me. Oh, I should have done the other one, because now there's two of them. Great. Good. Hello, hunger. Let's just levitate to Ultrasol. Avoid the hunger. Because Cliff Racers will do health damage. He'll do stat damage. I could do without stat damage. Now comes the fun part, trying to figure out where exactly I need to be going in this place. Is this the one where I have to kill the Dagoth to get it? I don't know. I could probably just look this up. But I'm not gonna. Oh, nope. Here it is. Okay. That's one down. So yeah, it does less damage, but since it fortifies our attack by 30 points, it does more damage. Uh, wonders of magic. And since we're here, we might as well explore. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a lot here other than bodies and a golden saint downstairs. That's not too bad. I'm sure this seven gold will help us. Yeah, fourth potion might actually. Uh, there's the Dagoth. Hello, Dagoth. Um, I'll leave you to it. I don't know they made that noise when you closed them. Interesting. Uh, hello, lady. Goodbye, lady. Oh, nope, she's after us. Okay, well... I don't think there's much else of interest in here. Alright, levitation is not gonna work if we get stunlocked by cliff racers. That's that's not okay, let's avoid him. That's a lot worse than a cliff racer. Yep, don't like that noise. I suppose we could just... well, we lost one of them. We could just use a potion. Make him go away and then heal up. Okay, uh... Don't get any visibility. Alright, back to Feminol. Can we get in here again? This one's the one that's always confusing. Ow. I think that's the first magic hit I've taken so far. That's not bad. Alright, so in here we are looking for Dagoth Vemin. Because we need to murder him. Hey, you look like a Dagoth Vemin. Hey, buddy. 
What, you want to talk? You want to surrender? To boast? You talk me to death? I'll talk you to death. One of the oldest things to have ever slipped from a womb, Shadow, but I've never heard of anyone talk to death. Of course, there's always a first time, and I was brought up properly. I know it's not polite to interrupt, so you just go ahead. Talk all you want, and when you're done, go home. Or take your best shot. It's all the same to me. Okay. Alright, you can just... You just die any second. That'd be great. It's nothing personal. I just, I just have to kill you. I know that makes it sound a little personal, but it's not, I swear. This, this was inevitable. I first saw this happening since the beginning. Yeah, okay. So, that's good. This is all good. Take all his stuff. Dispose of his corpse. I don't. I, I never want to see his corpse again. This also means we probably need to drop the Wakazashi. And we're still over encumbered. Huh. That's not good. I guess we could lose the skirt. As much as it pains me. We also probably don't need these cheap potions. There we go. Just a little pile of stuff on the corpse of what used to be Dagoth Vem and hello. Uh, can we get out of here? Probably heal. in the way. Okay, I guess we'll levitate our way out then. Actually, we can pick up the skirt again. You know, it just occurred to me, I didn't even try to pickpocket Sunder off of him. Nope. Okay. That's fair. And here we have it. The belly of the beast. Uh, should probably... Let's... Let's not fall to our death here, shall we? That seems optimal. But you're gonna have to wait your turn. I've got a devil to go kill, okay? You're just gonna have to wait outside until I'm back. And we're in. Alright, folks. This has been a pretty conclusive episode of the playthrough. We've become Hortator and Never Nereverine. We've gained all three artifacts and we are in the heart of Red Mountain itself. So, tune in next week for the exciting conclusion of the Morrowind Pacifist Challenge. I hope to see you there.